Hi there, I'm Chef Stephen Piles, and this next recipe is all about comfort. And we could sure use some comfort in these trying times for sure. This is an old, based on an old southern staple, the sweet potato. We all love those. Actually, sweet potatoes are very healthy. They're uh, high in fiber. Um, they're good for the immune system, which doesn't hurt anything. And I've actually even read that they may in Enhance brain function, so we could all use that. So we're going to start with this. It's a pound cake. It's a sweet potato pound cake. First, I want to give you a little history about the pound cake. It was originated somewhere in the early 1700s in England, and it was called a pound cake because it actually weighed four pounds, and it was one pound each of butter, sugar, flour, and eggs. So it's changed up a little bit these days. In fact, we're going to add some sort of uh, fun ingredients like sour cream. So what I want to do is start with um, the uh, mix. I'm going to do some sour cream here. And I'm going to add to that the sugar and the butter. So this is not a pound of each. It's eight ounces of eight tablespoons of butter. And again, you're going to have the recipes to these, so don't worry about writing anything down. So we're going to just kind of let that get mixed up. Now look what we have here, sweet potatoes. And the easy thing about this is we're going to put it right into an oven, about a 350 degree oven for 50 minutes. Just put it in, a, just like you were doing a baked potato. And you're going to put it in foil. And so this is really, delicious. You could eat it like this. In fact, we serve these here at Ventana, just baked sweet potatoes. But you'll just want to take it out of the shell or the husk or the skin, and we're going to add it right to here. In the meantime, I've got some dried ingredients here that are very important. So what I have is some flour, all-purpose flour. I'm going to add to that some spices. So I've got a little nutmeg, uh, baking soda, very important to make it rise a little. Some cinnamon, Mexican canela, and we're just going to kind of stir that up. And then, so it's very simple, you're going to see, we're going to add the eggs one at a time. And just stir that up a little more. It always, it never hurts to just kind of scrape everything down once. All right, now I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. Then let that get mixed up a little bit. Again, we'll scrape down one more time real quick. Now this makes a great um, breakfast. That's my favorite time to serve it with a nice hot, hot cup of coffee. Actually, uh, a dessert or a mid-afternoon snack is when most people would think of this, but try it for breakfast. It's really, it's really nice. So I'm going to add this delicious uh, roasted sweet potato. All right, one more time to scrape, and then we're going to add the dried ingredients. And I'm going to turn it way down because we're basically going to just kind of fold that in there. Just kind of slowly. Scrape one more time. It's looking good. All right, see how simple that was? 
Now, I have a nine inch loaf pan that I have here that's just lightly oiled, sprayed with a little Pam or butter and flour, whichever you want. Mmm, that even looks good raw. <laughs> That'd be good in ice cream, like cookie dough, huh? So we're going to take that, we're going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for about uh, 40 minutes. So come with me. So here we go, our 350 degree oven. So let's count 40 minutes. <laughs> All right, it's been 40 minutes. Let's take a look. Ah, it looks good. Mmm, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's going to be some good eating, folks. All right, we just simply invert that right out onto our cutting board here if we want. Mm, beautiful. Flip it over. Just gorgeous. Good looking, folks. So, if you've heard of something called lanyap, if you know anything about Cajun Creole culture, you'll know that lanyap means a little extra something, a little bonus. And so that's what you're going to have today because we're going to make some caramel sauce to go with this. I'm going to show you how to do the classic French caramel. It's very easy. Um, you just need to, three ingredients, sugar, flat, uh, sh excuse me, sugar, butter, and cream. So the trick is to have a really, really hot pan here. Get that really ripping. And we're just going to add some sugar, and we're going to caramelize it. You can see it already kind of melting. You just want to stir it back and forth. You see it kind of melting here? That's the trick. Just stir it around. You can see it coloring already. Just give it a little color. Melts quickly. There we go. So as soon as all the sugar is melted, there's no granules, just complete complete liquid, which is not going to be long here. Nice caramel color already. We're going to add, now this is, be careful, this is the, this is the risky part. You want to just add the cream, be careful. That, and then we're going to add a little butter as well. This may not be nutritious like the uh, sweet potato pound cake, but it is awfully good. And as I said in these times, let's be a little indulgent and have fun. So that's it. That's just going to cool off, and we've got our caramel sauce right here. Our lanyap. Let's go to New Orleans. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. I'm going to slice a... Nice piece right from the middle. Some of that delicious caramel sauce. Mmm, that makes it dessert. 
and less breakfast, although I've been known to eat some caramel at breakfast too, <laughs> as well as a little champagne and orange juice. So there you go. Enjoy.